Morning, everybody. We got Miss B here, Mr. Leo. Miss B, as you can tell, she's still getting closer and closer to popping. We're going to do our best today to try to put together a little bit of a kidding stall for her, if you will. She's not a goat, but uh, birthing. <laughs> birthing stall. How about that? We're thinking here probably in the next week or so. She's really bagging up, putting a lot of milk on, so we're going to set up a uh, an old 10 by 10 uh, dog kennel that we had over here and we'll rig it up to where she can get in and out but the pups can't and that'll get us started on a place for her and hopefully everything will go easy and go well with her and follow us along and see what we got going on Hey guys, apologize for the wind. It's, it's pretty windy here today. She's probably just going to block the sound now with her hand. So you won't be able to hear me at all. But these are pretty simple little dog kennels to put together. We've had this one for years. Uh, it's a lot easier if you got two people putting it together. You got a little carriage bolt slides through on one side. It just pinches these two poles together. It's one on top and bottom all the way around a little gate on one side. Uh, we had this one at our old house and we actually had it set up for the little dogs that were inside There was a, a doggy door where they came out and they had a little deck and everything built in it That way they had access outside when we were gone and all that stuff and still contained so that we didn't have to worry about them And uh, of course we carried that with us If you look you can find these for sale a lot of times on Facebook and, and Craigslist and stuff You can pick these up for a little bit of nothing and they're they're a perfect little stall for For what we're going to use it for here for uh, a little birthing stall for B We'll be able to leave that door open and build something short where the puppies can't get in and out, but she can. That way she's still got access to go do whatever she needs to do and still get back to her pups. Just wanted to kind of show you what we were doing here. We're going to get this thing stabbed back together here and uh, find a little old igloo house or something laying around here and some hay and, and see if we can't get her set up and let her know that this is hers. Miss B is adapting to her. What did we decide this was called, Mom? Whelping box. A whelping box. <laughs> I, I guess a whelping box would be a whole lot better than a kidding pen for a dog, wouldn't it? <laughs> Come on, baby girl. Come oh, on. we got too many critters. We're going to be due here before too long. That's all we're going to do for the month of February, I think, is yeah. a little bit of animal yeah. husbandry. Yeah. Apparently, baby girl wants to join. But baby girl, you going to have babies? No. No babies <laughs> from baby girl. You can tell she's a little fluffy herself there, but I think my... Ah, don't growl at me. She's a little <laughs> don't fluffy. Don't call me fluffy. Hey, don't call me fluffy, Dad. She's a little bit fluffy from being fixed. Come on. It is what it is on them little females. Come on. B. Nope. I'm going to hang out right here. Hi, B. She's getting miserable. She's just getting absolutely miserable. We'll keep you guys up to date on it. Well, we got Miss B lined out over there. We got her to uh, hang out in there for a little bit, get used to it. We moved her some food and water in there. So she's kind of hung out, and uh, I think she's adapted to it. We'll watch her for the next day or two and see if she gets in there and starts nesting a little bit. Keep an eye on her for temp drop and, and all that good stuff. But she should be getting close. She's starting to get pretty miserable. I think we're going to switch gears and... Uh, jump back up here on these sheds again and, and do some clean out and uh, we'll try to get back with y'all later I'm pretty sure you don't want to watch us clean out a shed so we'll get with you after a while well guys that's about all we got for the day we uh, tackled on this shed for a while and got a lot of it knocked out and uh, as you can see my hair also fell off today uh, th this was a norm for me for a long 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 time and uh, what you've seen recently was the longest my hair's been in 20-30 years so, but with that said, don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And we will see you guys tomorrow.